هي الآية تتكلم. It is inspired by a verse in the Quran that actually he's saying that if you do try to to avoid or obeying God more, then you actually kind of find you will automatically find a way out of any problem, and that is and that is why it's actually shaped the sculpture is shaped like an actual maze to kind of convey that message. The shape that he chose basically is uh, he find he found it to be the best way to convey the message that or the message that the verse in the Quran was was trying to to, to convey. The reason he chose Korean particularly because it's it's described as industrial marble, and the reason is because it has it's very very soft and smooth compared to other material, and also that the lines that are in the actual sculpture that from on the, from the material. Are very very smooth and very thin and very very sharp, which he liked, and he thought also kind of added a texture to it. So these sharp lines in the material kind of convey the short life that people actually live, which is you know it's short and fast and sharp and thin in a way. What he finds it interesting is that actual Islamic art is done by people that they that the, the, it is their own message, unlike for example. The, uh, the holy book of the Quran, which is believed to actually, have, you know, it's the word of God. You cannot touch it. You cannot manipulate it. But actually, Islamic art is something that is done by people, and you can actually manipulate it, and that is part of its beauty.